Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. In this video, I'm talking about what to do with brand new hockey skates. Bauer just sent me this brand new pair of 1S skates, but you can't just throw them on your feet and go out there and skate. There's a bit of a process that you have to go through and some of the newer players might not know about it. And even some of the more experienced players might not know everything about it. Myself, for instance, I've been playing hockey for 20 plus years and I know that the blades should be profiled, but I don't know what every single profile does. I just drop them off at the guy at the shop and I say, I'm a forward, I play this position, this is my style and I trust them. So we're gonna take a little bit of a deeper look into the profiling, the baking, and what you should do to get these skates feeling perfect before you head on the ice. And we're working with a pro, Glenn Sharpley from Sharpley Source for Sports. He played pro hockey in the NHL, and then he got this sports store, so he sharpened a bunch of skates, he's profiled a bunch of skates, and he's played pro. He knows his way around a pair of skates, so let's go talk to him and see what we need to do to get these skates all set up. Hi, I'm Glenn uh, from Sharply Sources Sports in Huntsville. I'm with Jeremy today uh, from How To Hockey, and we're gonna be discussing heat molding, your brand new skates. We're gonna discuss contouring, and finally, uh, the final sharpening before you uh, get ready to play your first game. Let's go. These are brand new skates from Bauer. Yeah, this is the, obviously, it's the brand new 1S. It's yep. their new release this year. It's, a, it's an absolutely gorgeous skate. Yeah, the whole, the whole boot basically on this is heat moldable so you're going to get the a full wrap fit um, when we're finally done and yeah you're going to you're going to enjoy it jeremy we got to make sure the skate is sized properly yeah. um, that's the most critical pretty much every every store in our group is a pro shop mm -hmm. and you know we pride ourselves in proper fit we see a lot of stuff done obviously from the box stores and they're not sized right and so heat molding it helps but it's not going to do the same thing if you buy a skate too long the bottom line is once the skate is laced your heel is back if you've bought a skate too long, the arch is now pushing on the ball of your foot, mm -hmm. and so no heat molding is gonna get rid of that discomfort. The more expensive skate, the least amount of out-of-the-box comfort you're gonna get, so you're gonna really notice the biggest difference on a more expensive skate after you've heat molded it, because, okay. yeah, it, it, you'll really notice a difference. Right, let's get them in the oven. And sure thing. Get them on my feet. So we've pre-laced this now. Um, we're gonna use the standard footbed right now in these skates and they're just going to go in the oven and like i said it's a cold oven so about seven minutes every single part of the skate including the steel is going to get to 200 degrees can people bake it at home you know what you can easily bake these at home again the problem is if you don't tie them up properly you can damage the skate is very vulnerable when it's warm like this and if you don't tie it up properly you will tear an eyelet yeah, so if you don't know what it's, you're doing, it's recommended you could that, mess up your yeah. $1,000 skate. We've got seven minutes now. Seven you can do whatever you want. We, so we tell our customers, you know, you got a few minutes to wander around. While we're waiting for those skates to bake, let's do a quick breakdown on molding skates. So you've got your cheap skates, which don't really have any moldable material. The inside is going to be foam. Uh, it might form your feet a little bit, but it's not really going to have that same effect. Then you have the mid-level level skates. We'll say about three, $400 skates. And those ones will have a gel inside that will mold and hold to your feet. Depending on the brand and the model, you're gonna get different results. Then we go up to the top of line skates. Those are gonna have the best material in them. And some of the top of line skates even have a moldable boot. So the outside of the boot forms to your foot and so does the inside. And those are the ones where you're gonna notice the best results. If you want even further customization, then we can go to the footbed. Most skates like running shoes just come with a custom footbed. But if you have specially shaped feet, high arches, something like that, you can go for aftermarket footbeds that are gonna give you better comfort and possibly better performance. Some of the top line skates, we're talking eight, $900 pairs, they come with those custom footbeds so you get better fit, feel, and performance. Uh, the Bowers that I have baking at the store, they come with heat moldable footbeds. So not only is the boot and the liner heat moldable, so is the footbed. Basically the entire skate wraps around your foot and gives you that custom feel, which should lead to less energy loss when you're skating and more comfort. 
Now, Glenn has had some mixed reviews about the Bauer speed plates, but we're gonna talk about that in the second video. Let's head back to the store. I'm gonna get those skates put on and we're gonna talk about how they should feel after you've had them baked, uh, what level of comfort should be there, and what you can do if you're still uncomfortable or feel some pain after you've skated in your skates. Let's go. So yeah, if you can just hop around, we'll stick the right one on first. So you can see the pliability of this. Oh yeah. It's not even the same skate coming out of the oven. No. As it, as it was going in. It's, so, much, it's much more uh, it, flexible. Yeah. Some people, they get their uh, skates baked, but then they still have foot pain and they, uh, they come in afterwards to get the skate punched out. We uh, have, yes, we can spot heat it mm -hmm. and punch it or just punch it. Um, we have the tools for that here also. With a good quality high-end skate like this, um, generally the heating process is gonna cover you off. So you can see I wasn't pulling up on the eyelets, I was pulling out mm -hmm. and I'm not going to tear it. So even though this is a plastic one strip, one piece eyelet system, um, I would do the same on this as I do the um, uh, escape with a regular eyelet. What are the, uh, the do's and don'ts? After I've laced this up, you will stay seated for the entire performance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it takes 10 minutes to cool properly. Yep, yep. But you will not stand up, you will not flex forward, um, you will cause undue um, pressure on the eyelets. The one, the one piece system that we have here, mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't cause near the damage, but on a, uh, on a normal skate, even in the $500, $600 range that have normal eyelets, if you do too much flexing forward and the skate is warm, you will stretch that eyelet. And unfortunately then they, they seem to know what what's gone on and there is no warranty for that. That's why we like to lace them up. Yeah. So people don't pull up on the eyelet. Yeah. Now, if you had um, a hot spot, we could get you to stand. And, you know, if you had, a, you had, you know, a bone that was sticking out here, you can see there is some flexibility when it's warm that we can get that. Right. And so the, your body weight would, would, would help that. Somebody who has their, their skates baked and they go out, they're going to experience a bit of pain because it's that adjustment period, the breaking mm -hmm. period how long after they've had new skates and used them, if they're still feeling foot pain, should they come in and, and get them looked at for maybe a new footbed or to get them punched or something? If you're still having trouble after your fourth skate, then yeah, we'd, we'd be more than happy to see you. Start to think yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because there's no reason with the technology that we have here and that the skate offers that you have to have any pain. You yeah. shouldn't have pain. Yeah, and, and I guess the, the break-in period, is, it's just slight discomfort. It might be yeah. a, a bit of an ache in the foot, but it mm -hmm. shouldn't be anything extreme, right? You, you shouldn't really have, no. If it's, if it's sized properly and heat molded properly, it's going to be a second skin, and you yeah. shouldn't have a problem. That should give you guys a pretty good idea on the advantage of baking a brand new pair of skates and how you can get more comfort out of them. Now, beyond baking them and having them properly fit, there's also the footbeds. Those can also add comfort if you still don't feel right in your skates. We're gonna save that for a second video because there's a lot to talk about. There's the ones that come with it, there's the top end ones, and then there's the aftermarket options. So tune in to the next video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And then after that, we're gonna talk about profiling. That's the shape of the blade. If you are really comfortable in your skates, but they still don't feel right, you might just have to change the profile on the blade to get that forward lean you want or to feel more balanced. So there's a few different things that you can change on there. We're gonna talk about it in the third video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.